Okay. Hello everybody, welcome to Channel 5 News. I am your host, Ethan Carter, and this is my lesser co-host, Sora Clearly. Today, our first breaking news story. A local boy starts a fire and then puts it out. It is quite miraculous. The little boy was in a science class when he made two materials that just didn't mix, and it made a fire. He rushed over to get the extinguisher. But sadly, the extinguisher failed. So, being the hero he is, the boy jumped on the fire, trying to get rid of the oxygen around the fire so the fire would go out. It worked, and it put the fire out, but sadly, his shirt caught on fire. Soon, he was dead. So, this little hero did put out the fire, so we'll give him props for that. So, we just got, in, we just got news in from the local fire station. A cat was just saved out of a tree. We don't know how. But it was. And that's good. Cats are annoying. Breaking news, and this will really tug on your heartstrings. Veteran World of Warcraft player Griffin Rider 8782 has the, has announced that he is quitting his game of World of Warcraft and actually getting a real job. Level 80 Shaman was a very no well known in the World of Warcraft scene. He was uh, one of the most heaviest people on earth until he decided to change his life. Weighing 872 pounds and getting about three heart attacks a day, he decided that it was about time for a change. So he went to the doctor, and he got a very he got a very effective weight loss plan, and he has lost over 750 pounds. He now weighs only 130 pounds with a very nice six pack, and I heard that he's going into accounting. So hey, if you need an accountant, look at Griffin Rider 8782. He might be able to help you out. Now, we're gonna go to a very, very special thing on Sesame Street. The Count has started to learn algebra. But sadly, he doesn't like the numbers. He likes to count, and you can't count numbers. So A squared plus B squared does not equal C squared in the count size. Now we're gonna talk about um, court, and this is very interesting. It says a majority of murder victims do not testify in court. This seems like it should be quite obvious. If you get murdered, you might want to put your murderer behind bars. But sadly, most do not choose to come and testify in court. It's a shame. It really is. Now, we'll be back on, um... This... <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure that most of you know the company Apple. Very big. You probably even own a couple products in your home. They just announced that they were making brand new pants called the iPants. And they advertise to have pockets large enough for their newest phones. Sadly, though, they do cost more than the phones themselves, and the pockets are not included. However, the pockets are <laughs> only $672. And the pants asking price is only $500. So when you put that together, that is a very reasonable price for a pair of pants. So, Christmas, Christmas time is coming up again, and the very famous Christmas songwriter, Snoop Dogg, has announced that he plans to make a sequel to the classic song, The Last Noel. I hope it turns out to be as good as the first Last Noel, because I very did enjoy that song. The lyrics go, I am rolling in the dough, I am getting the money, but I ain't got time for the honey. Noel, please bless me upon this night. I would like to have a bottle of Sprite. Very, very powerful words. So. Yeah. Yes. And now, we would like to introduce our guest, Mr. You're supposed to come over. We would now like to introduce our guest, Mr. Come on in. Come on in, sir. I, I am in. No, come on in, sir. I don't want to get come, come, come on in, sir. I, I don't. Feel the love. I don't like people. Okay. So, we heard that you were on, you, you were on America's Got Talent. Uh, yeah. It was... But sadly, you were voted off in the first episode. Well, Why do you think that the show did not deem your talent of being able to go to the bathroom 47 times a day, not as a talent? Why do you think well, they said that? It was because, unfortunately, I was using legal supplements in the lemonade I drink in order to make me be more. <laughs> oh, how tiny I have fallen. Supplements in his lemonade to make him pee more. What a naughty sea hacker. On other news, we now have an extra stool. If you want it, we will be selling it for $5.99. I'm taking the stool! It's all I have left! <laughs> so 
now we would like to um, call up a member from the studio audience. So, um, we will take you right there, sir. Come on up, come on up, sir. Come on up, sir. Come here. Come on. You. Yeah. You. Yeah. You. 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 You, buddy. You. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come. We will fight. That's it. Come on. Oh, you. Yeah, you. you. Yeah. Come on. Come on up, sir. You. Come. Come on, sir. Yeah. Let's go up. Let's go up. Let's go up. So, we heard that um, most people in the audience tonight are uh, pretty big fans of Disney. Uh, would you say you're a fan of Disney? No, I don't like Disney. Okay, I agree with you personally. But uh, Disney has announced that they're planning on global domination, saying that every winter, uh, winter will be renamed to um, Frozen season, and um, it will be illegal to not wear either Olaf, and Anna, or Elsa on any given part of your body. What do you think about that? What do you think about that, sir? Two words spoken by a true Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah? Okay. Okay. So, McDonald's has announced some new menu items. One of them being live pig throw. So, basically what it does, uh, they're going to start carrying live pigs inside McDonald's franchise locations. And they will literally give you this live pig and you chop out its throat while it's live and you beat it. Uh, before I, before you answer, uh, I have to ask a question. Does yes. it come in double size? Like, is there a... Supersize. Yes, you can supersize your uh, pig throat meal for an additional eight ninety nine. Is deep frying available? Deep frying is sadly not available because it is the live pig throat meal, but you can get a, um, a deep fried um, baby pig. How about whipped cream? Whipped cream, sadly you'll have to buy separately, but McDonald's does allow you to purchase it. Personally, Personally, I think I'd go home, I'd first buy it at McDonald's, I'd go home, deep fry it myself, then put whipped cream on top. There you go. So McDonald's, hey, hey, yeah. McDonald's, you need to learn from your customers because that is a very smart plan. Anybody want to know how to do that? Just ask him. Yeah. We are going to life hack. Okay, so we've got it in from the studio audience. Ten life hacks to make your life easier. So, most of you probably have these. These are called cellular smartphone devices. As you can see, they have battery life, and the battery life can go out. But did you know that if... Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a second. If you, if you remove the battery from your smartphone, your battery can't die. So you essentially have a phone that never dies. Now, if that's not a life hack, I don't know what is. Now, another life hack. Um, so, so say you don't have one of these cellular devices, and you probably want one, but you just think they're too expensive. So what, an, uh, like another thing you could do, is you can just take your friend, I mean, don't even, he doesn't need it. That is a very effective life hack. So, did your friend just steal your brand new cellular phone device that you've been saving up for for eight years? Of course. So what I'd recommend is getting the earbuds that came with your cellular phone device, uh, simply wrapping them around the, the, the throat of the other person, and suffocating them to death. <coughs> so... <laughs> Simple life hack to get out of <laughs> this situation is give your friend his phone back, say you're sorry, and you'll pay him ten bucks to not kill you. There we go. And that goes into our next life hack. It's how to get free ten dollars. And we just showed how. So, now, we're going to have a live studio audience help us on this life hack. Who wants to come on up from the live studio audience? Oh, hello, sir. What is your name? My name is Kareem Abdul Elizabeth... Joseph Rakim Mexico the third. A beautiful lady like yourself must have some um, makeup life hacks. Would you like to show them to us or demonstrate them or just tell us about them? Yes, if you wear a hood over your face, no one will know you are not wearing makeup. Wow. Oh. I can see my wife using that every day. She's really ugly. Where is your stool? Um, a crazy man stole it. Oh, I see. Yes. I'm sorry. So how am I supposed to sit down then? Sit on my lap. I, I, I don't know, it's not professional. It is very professional. I, it's not professional. Oh, um, the director has, um, that is, that chair is um, named my lap. So please be very gentle to it. Do you have any more like that for us? Uh, yes. Are you having problem tying your shoes? Are you tired of 
people stepping on the shoelaces even after you've tied them are flip-flops. Inconvenient. Are everyone making fun of you because you're wearing Crocs like a total scrub lord? The solution is simple. Amputate your legs. The whole leg. If you just cut off the feet, it might grow back. <laughs> and that goes into our next life hack. Do you need a wheelchair because you just amputated your legs? If you call Life Alert right now, not only will they give you their signature Life Alert help by falling that I can't get up wrist bracelet alarm system, but you will either get a free wheelchair or a free stair lift right now. This is not a scam. Can't call Life Alert. I have a hack for you. Find your nearest office chair, such as this one, and just wheel yourself around with the stubs that you have. I will show you. Oh, like this. Um, uh, director, please help us while I demonstrate to the studio audience how they can perform this life hack. Uh, uh. See, it's going to be quite difficult because you don't um, have legs anymore, but you can just use your arms if you did not amputate to push yourself around. As you can see, it's very effective. And I have one more life hack for all you people at home. Are you running a show and are out of material? Here's the best solution. Simply look at the person who's running the camera and tell them to turn that thing off because we've been recording for too long. I love you.